hello friends uh, welcome again and uh, this is my new project coffee shop management system and uh, i have developed this project in python django and mysql also the version for the python i am using is the python version 3 and the django version is 2 for the mysql version i am using mysql version 5.6 for connecting the database means mysql with the django and python i am using the mysql python connector which you will get easily from the mysql.org website for front-end development, I am using the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Some of the jQuery library also I have used, like uh, calendar integration, form validations, and the uh, creating drop-down menus. I have used the jQuery plugins. Right. So this is all about the technologies which I have used uh, to develop this project. Right. So let's start with the functionality go through of the project. So the project title is Coffee Shop Management System, and this is a mini project developed in Python, Django, and MySQL, and it's a web portal. Right. So this is the home page of the project. You can see this is a simple store home page. <laughs> right. This is the about. And if you want to change the content of the about or home page, then you can change it directly from the HTML page. There is no need uh, to change anything in the database side. Right? This is a contact us page. It's a static contact us page. Even I'm not sending any type of email and SMS from this page. So you can treat it as a static page. This is a login from where admin will be able to log in. If you don't have the user ID and password, then you will not be able to log inside the system, right? So for login inside the system, you must have the user ID and password, right? Once you click on the sign in, this is the dashboard. So this dashboard contains the functionality which will be performed by the admin user, means admin can add product, admin can add product sales, admin can see the product details, admin can see the product sales details, and the change password and the logout, right? So these operations admin can perform. <clears throat> okay, let me go through one by one. So this is a add product. So here you will enter the product name, product cost, product type, company, and stock, right? So uh, here you will enter all of the information, and it, this information will be saved into the database. And after that, you can see all of the added database here, right? Means details here. So you can see this is the total. Total, we have eight records in this uh, in this uh, database, right? Even you can edit and delete the record from here also, <coughs> right? This is the add sales, right? Add sales from where you will be able to make the sale, right? So let me start the sale. So I need I am entering Kaushal Kishore and the customer contact number. You need to enter the contact number of the customer. Right, and once you click on the ad, then it will show you the this page. Right, means after that you will be able to add the product. And once you click on the ad, then the cost will be cut, uh, will be calculated automatically. Right, like that. Okay, you will be able to see the products are getting added, added into the cart, and you will be able to see the total cost here. Right. Once you click on the save order, then this item will be saved into database even if you want to delete any of the order then you can also delete it so once you click on the save order then this order details will be saved into database you can see this order details have been saved into database and the order 90 is eight right even you can print it from here so once you click on the print this page will be open in the printable format and you can print it too right so once you click on the sales details you will be able to see all of the sales records here once you click on the view order then you will be able to see the details of that order so this is our current order then the total amount was 2000 rupees this is a change password from where admin will be able to change his account password after that he will be able to log in with this updated password right this is a change password right once you log out from the system none of the administration menu will be displayed and none of the internal page will be accessed right so this is the top menu bar and it's a total session driven and it's rendering according to the session. So you can see the menus are coming. If you log out, the menus are not coming, right? So it's according to the session management system, right? So this is all the things which I have developed in this project. And it's a mini project, I, as I told you earlier, developed in Python, Django and MySQL and it's a web portal also. So if you need more functionality in this project, just put it into the comment. I will incorporate those changes and I will make this project more and better and better according to your requirements. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest video updates on the latest technologies. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.